Firstly, I find it apt to tell you a tale that I heard from a child. He spoke to me wiser words than one would otherwise expect from the runt. In his little dusty pants, the youth told me how his classroom teacher was a racist. He reported how this teacher proposed that Africans had no history. He said, in this classroom of the 30 students, 10 looked about after this comment, clearly knowing better and very perturbed. The child reported on how eyes jumped to and from other eyes to a point where each of the 10 touched each of the other 10 or the sides and backs of the heads of the other 20. He went into more detail claiming that every conscious kid looked at every other conscious kid and registered the unconscious kids. So in this classroom, every concerned child looked on every other child. Finally, each eye showing a slight shyness, a lack of concern, or maybe a need for a spark, stopped and class continued, the teacher unchallenged. The story perplexed the child, but greatly informed me. You see, it takes one thing to be concerned, blame it on history. But whence concerned, one looks for leadership, not amongst soi disant leaders, but amongst soi disant followers. So to speak, leaders do not lead, followers do. Therefore, truly followers, meaning everyone, is a leader.